Welcome back to Total 180, the Caribbean's first and only lifestyle channel for men. So we've listened to our viewers. They said, Danny, they talk about fashion, they talk about public speaking, they talk about success. But what about the power of fragrance? Because looking good is important, but smelling good is even more important. So I got help. I went down to Maison Chic, which is a cutting edge store in the Emirates Plaza on Arden Road. And I'm speaking to the marketing coordinator, Samantha Daly, for the parent company Euro Brands to discuss why fragrance is so important. Welcome to the show, Samantha. Thank you for having me, Daniel. <laughs> okay, so I'm blown away by the selections here. I don't even know where to start. So much good, good cologne. Yeah, we still don't have everything working on it. Okay, <laughs> okay. So tell me now, why is fragrance so important? Well, as you mentioned before, looking good is important, mm -hmm. but the final icing on the cake is how you smell. You can look good and then somebody walk past you and say, Oh, you smell so. Bambri. No, Bambri. you're right. Bambri. Your half is the final touch. The final it's as touch. important as your shoes. True. Your True. fragrance. So, it, the thing with fragrances is that it's the sense of smell is linked to your emotions. Yes. This you know, true. when you smell cookies, mm -hmm. it brings you back to a good memory. Yes. You don't want nobody to remember how green you were. You yes. want to remember how good you smell. That is why fragrances are so important. So the emotional link. Yes. Um, am I seen as more attractive when I smell good? Yes, it does have that effect. Definitely. Fragrances link to sexual attraction right away. Sexual attraction? Yes. Okay. So, all right, what about in a professional space now? I'm trying to sell my goods and services. I'm trying to convince people to buy, to buy into me. Tell me how the fragrance plays a role in that aspect. As I said, because it's linked to emotions and feelings, mm -hmm. you have an advantage because you smell good and the person wants to be around you. They're probably right. going to realize it's because you smell good that they yes. want to be around you. Yes. So they're willing to listen to you more and believe what you're telling them. Because you smell good. Because you smell good. Okay. So you're saying buying buying good cologne is a non-negotiable non right. aspect then. And have buy to have real. good cologne. <laughs> buy real. Buy real. Alright, so speaking of real, why do you advocate real cologne versus knockoffs? Knock yeah. And how do you know the difference? Oh, the difference is tricky because the imitators out there are mm -hmm. very good. Mm -hmm. However, we are a licensed distribution company, Eurobrand Trade. We supply a wide variety of stores in Kingston and out of town. Mm -hmm. If you see the EB on the door of the store, you are guaranteed authentic real fragrances. EB? Yes, just like the logo. Okay. So, with that being said, why you need to stay away from the knockoffs? Mm -hmm. It's a risk to your health. My health. Fragrances is ingredients. You spray it on your skin, which mm -hmm. is your biggest organ. True. It covers your whole body. Mm -hmm. It seeps into your bloodstream. Mm -hmm. And that can affect your liver and your kidney. Mm -hmm. You don't want that happening. So it's best to stick to the authentic stuff where you're guaranteed that it won't affect you certain ways unless you have allergies. And you know allergies is an individual thing. It doesn't affect everybody. But Definitely stay away from the knockoffs. Plus, they don't last as long, they're not as good. Mm -hmm. Just stay with the real deal. With the real deal. All right, so how do I go about selecting the right cologne for me? Okay, so we have this item in store that's called a blotter. A blotter? Right, which we spray the fragrance on for you to test. Mm -hmm. Although it is a good um, addition. It is always best to test it on your skin. Right. Because fragrances work with your pH balance. Mm. So, although you're testing a lot, you probably don't want all of them on your skin. When you find one that you like on the blotter, always test it on your skin to make sure that it is something you like. All right, so do what about the times you now where I might test a cologne, but a, test a fragrance on my skin, mm -hmm. and it smells really good in the moment. Mm. And then later I'm going to go, not smell as good as me think it did smell and no more want. No want to care about my cologne now because I know the same cologne that I tested at first. It is what the happened? same cologne. What, what happened? happened is that fragrances have three notes. So there's the first note, which is the introduction note. Three notes? You're right. It's like three levels. Okay. So you have the start, the middle and then the finish. Mm -hmm. You really should wait till the finish to know if you really want to purchase the fragrance. For the finish note, is the one that will last the longest. That's the final drop. How long does the last note? How long before the fat lady sings? 
it depends on the fragrance. Because some fragrances would last four hours, some fragrances last up to eight hours, some fragrances can last all day. And I don't know, sometimes you might take off your shirt and next morning you're still smelling the fragrance right. on your shirt. There are fragrances like that as well. So it really depends on the fragrance that you purchase, which is good to test it, take it home, and come back and say, all right, this is definitely what I want. So, you have grades of cologne, right? You have eau de toilette, mm -hmm. you have cologne, you have eau de parfum. Mm -hmm. You have eau de parfum for men, right? Yes. So I'm hearing. Yes. So break that down for me now. It's not a male or female situation. Mm -hmm. The EDT and the EDP and the EDC and the EDF and all of that is the level of oil as opposed to alcohol that is present in the fragrance. Mm -hmm. So the strongest one is parfum, which is just straight perfume oil. Mm -hmm. And then you have the EDT, which is a little more alcohol, but majority of it is oil. Mm -hmm. And then you have the EDT, which is less oil and more alcohol. And it goes down like that, just, oh. just depending on the oil and alcohol concentrating so the, in the fragrance. The oil parfum is the one that is the most powerful one. The parfum, straight parfum is the one that's the most powerful one. Right underneath that is the EDP. So give me an example of parfum for me. Parfum for me. Well, we have EDP. I don't think we have any E. We don't have any straight P in here apart from an Aqua Digio. But we have an EDP right here. Invictus came out with Invictus Legend. This one. Packer and that you're testing at first. And this yeah. is an EDP. So this just means that it has more alcohol, uh, more oil than alcohol concentrate in it. People have the assumption that EDP lasts longer than EDT. That's not a hundred percent a reliable fact mm -hmm. because we have some EDTs that last longer, and then there are other factors that contribute to how long a fragrance will last on you. Tell me the factors. Right. So, all depends on your plan of the day mm -hmm. because the sun will affect how a fragrance smells as well as how long it lasts on you. Mm -hmm. So, if you're sitting in AC all day, your fragrance Good. will last as long as you need it to. But if you're out in the sun, on the road, probably physically active, the fragrance will adjust to your surroundings. Another way to actually have your fragrance last longer is to put out the Vaseline in the spot that you're going to spray it. The Vaseline holds what the fragrance. Oh, so put a little Vaseline. All right, question also now. How do you apply cologne properly? Okay, I know a lot of people like to do. You really don't need to do all. You don't need to do all that, especially when you have twenty grand worth of fragrances. You don't want to finish it too quickly, mm -hmm. right? So it's really just pressure points, pulse so, points. So, so pulse points can be the back of your neck, mm -hmm. these areas here, mm -hmm. your wrist, your chest. Mm -hmm. It's also a good tip that as you take a warm shower, mm -hmm. you spray on that cologne and then get dressed. Because now your pores are open, so the cologne goes sits in your skin mm. better. Mm. So take a warm shower and then spray on the cologne. Mm -hmm. How many how many tots of cologne do you recommend? I normally tell people two, just two tots. Two, well, it really a tot is the amount of sprays. Yeah, it really depends on how impactful you want to be mm -hmm. in the setting that you're probably going to attain. Mm -hmm. But it's usually safe to just the two. How much how much cologne is too much cologne now? Where, where your cologne? How many pairs of shoes you have? No man, as in as in uh, the application. There's no of it. such thing as too much cologne. Yeah man, if me I smell it from across the room, that's a bit much. Oh well, on your dresser there's no such thing as too much cologne. No, I just mean but the application. Mix. How much how much cologne is putting on too much cologne? That's what I meant. Okay. I, I normally tell people your cologne should be should be used like a, a cell phone, not a megaphone. So that's people should smell it within analogy. a conversational distance. Yes, that's not it. outside it. You're correct. You're I'm absolutely correct. correct. <laughs> we, told, we, know, we, we know what's popping. We know what's popping. When a fragrance is too overpowering, it mm -hmm. can lead to headaches mm -hmm. and people not wanting to be around you. Yeah, we don't mm -hmm. want that. So two tops in, in what? In how many points? Two points or four? Two points. Four is ideal. I do four. So I do two here, two here. If you're expecting someone to come into your private bubble, yeah. up here is good. Yeah. And then if you just, you know, everyday thing, right up here. Okay, okay. Alright, Samantha, so, Monica, so mm -hmm. tell me your mm -hmm. top five hottest fragrances mm -hmm. for me right now. Uh, that is a tough one, you know. Mm -hmm. It's a tough one. Um, 
So these five that I picked up earlier are definitely in the top ten. Right. This so, one, this one is speaking to Mary. Bad boy. All right. Bad boy, bad so, girl, and it has black and gold. Yeah, this looks like me. It's, this it's is so the good bottle. to be bad. Hmm? This is the bottle. Okay, a lightning, a lightning bolt. bolt. Yes. All right. A bit intense. All right. And it is not an intense fragrance. It's, not. it's just the right fragrance. I don't know how else to explain it to you. Two twelve. Two one two. Two one two. Yeah. VIP black. Own the party. I have, right. I have two and two, the original one. What's the difference between this and the original two? Well, first of all, this is an EDP. Okay. Own as well mm. as the ingredients are different. Does that mean I want a beer then? Uh, <laughs> Sorry, this one is a, this one is a, <laughs> among your more pricey offerings. Then, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what we do. More upscale. Version. So this when this one came out, I was in love with this. Which one? Which like, one? The two and two VIP black. All the same black. VIP black. Yeah, I was like, babe, mm. here you go. Right. Definitely. Jean Paul Gaultier. Yes, the ultra male. That is a top seller for us. Yeah, this I bought this from my father one time years ago. Yes. So it's still about still around the place. Still definitely. Then of the more cost efficient, more affordable scale, we'll have the Antonio Banderas King of Seduction Absolute. Antonio Banderas. Right, I don't people. You so this is not this is not the pussy moose Antonio Banderas. It is. This is the it spy. Is the, the actor. <laughs> what if you saying it yes, like that? This is the action hero version. In name King of the... Seduction. So think of a more seductive mm -hmm. role he played. So How much does this cost? How much is this? That one retails for approximately $5,000. Like right this. and for how much for, for what size? That is the hundred ml. Yeah. For the hundred for the hundred milliliter, five thousand dollars. Yes. Wow. And we also have the two hundred ml, and that is an everyday fragrance mm -hmm. that you can wear to work and stuff, and still be effective, okay. even though the price is so below the scale. <laughs> All right. So next thing now, All right, ideally, how many bottles of cologne does a man need? Just ideally, just say a man, a man is on a budget. On a budget? A man is on a budget and what is a, what's a basic startup. For how many colors you should have? Yes. Well, when you're buying shoes, right? You have your sneakers, your dress shoes, your slippers, and your everyday shoes. Mm -hmm. You need a fragrance for each of those occasions in your life. Okay, okay. Yes. So you have your going out fragrance, your mm -hmm. formal fragrance, the one that is going to be like, yes. Then you have your everyday one that you probably wear to the work to work and stuff. I think you smell good and thing. And then you probably have the one for party events as opposed to corporate mm -hmm. events. Mm -hmm. So basically I tell myself I come done my money. Pump pump call you just buy finish your money. Finish my money but you can access them gradually over time. Yes. <laughs> gradually. So would you say that there are some fragrances that are more ideal for the daytime than the nighttime? That is Yes. What's, what, what's a good fragrance to choose for the daytime? Wow, daytime fragrance. Something more fresh? Definitely something fresh. Something, something more fresh. on the aquatic side. On the aquatic side. Yes. Okay. And night. Probably like the citrus side as well. Those are the ones that I like. Yeah. Yes. Those definitely daytime. And the nighttime, no. The good and sexy. And the mm -hmm. spicier type of smells. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wrapping up the interview, no, but mm -hmm. I need to know. Do you have any do's and don'ts of cologne wearing that you want to share with us? I have one major do. Mm -hmm. Rubbing the fragrance. Don't rub it, don't go so. Don't rub it, you're rubbing out the fragrance. It's mm -hmm. better to blow on it or air dry it. Don't rub it. Okay. Well, Samantha, this was a pleasure. Thank you so much for illuminating the darkness. <laughs> like you can understand this fragrance but I hope the men benefit from this one. Yeah, Thank man. you for having us. Thank you for coming, thank you for extending the invitation, we really appreciate it. And remember to subscribe to our Total 180 YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And remember, nothing changes if nothing changes. You're, You're welcome. welcome.